Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you how to change your Veno solenoids on an E90 BMW. So I want to answer a question once and for all for you guys. Should you buy cheap Veno solenoids or should you stick with OEM? I have OEM solenoids on there and I have no codes or no issues besides the fact that I'm trying to chase on a misfire on my car at the top of third gear above 60 200 rpm so i'm changing out these vanal solenoids basically as a test believe it or not these are ten dollars each and i'm not going to recommend them absolutely not they're made in china um, do as i say not as i do if you're really in a bind and on a budget then hey you know what maybe your car can get up and running for a couple months with these i don't even know how long they'll last but from what i've seen they work fine for the most part until they just fail prematurely they only last you a couple months and it's a waste of money these were the cheapest ones i could find and i purposely went for them just because this could be an informative video for you guys to see how pathetic they are if they are pathetic at all assuming they will last a half an hour drive at the very least maybe i can use them for troubleshooting does it get rid of my problem if it does then i can order a set of oem original ones and replace them on the car but for testing purposes i thought this could be interesting for you guys to see and maybe i'll answer a couple questions but let's just see so i'm going to unbox them Made in China. That's the part number, and they're called uh, Wise Pick. I'm not sure what brand that is, but I'm gonna put a link in the description just because, hey, you know what? Maybe some of you guys will wanna give them a try if you're on a tight, tight budget. I'm not gonna recommend it though, to be honest with you. So the OEM BMW part number is listed right there. You can see it through the label. I can't even understand how these things exist for this much money. Like, what can you really expect out of these things? It's kind of hilarious if you had to ask me. So basically, we're going to test the car now with ISTA to see how it responds in terms of vanal solenoid testing and to see if it passes properly. And then we're going to throw these on and see how the car responds to them. Then we'll go for a drive and see if my issue is resolved. If it's resolved, these will come straight back out, get tossed on a shelf. And then I'm going to order up a set of OEM ones or maybe a more reputable brand if I can find a couple that are recommended. I just figured this would be interesting. In my, I think I just got a good deal on these for 10 bucks a piece. I think they're no different than the ones that go for 40 bucks a pair. Literally, this pair is 20 bucks. Let's answer a question. Is this a stupid idea to buy cheap solenoids or is it a good idea? It's not going to cause engine damage. You know, it's just going to fail on you and get a code and your car might run like crap. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my laptop now and we're going to start the car and initiate a test via ISTA to see how the OEM solenoids are performing. In the vehicle now, starting up ISTA D, start the car as well. Operations, read out vehicle data, complete identification. So we're going to go over to vehicle management, troubleshooting, function structure, powertrain, engine electronics. Go down to valve gear. Doesn't matter which one you select here. We're going to go over to vanal solenoid valve exhaust. Click on it, display. Next or continue. So there's no full codes stored right now related to this, as expected anyway. But we're going to continue the test. We're going to go to check panels, solenoid valves, continue. Engine is running already, continue. Hovering around 1200 RPM. Alright, so that technically passed. I want to go back. We'll go to the intake now. Panels intake. Display.
So that's how you test them. Technically those seem fine in the test. So we're done with this stuff for now. I'm gonna install those aftermarket uh, solenoid valves and we're gonna conduct this test again just to see if it even gets close to target or not. That'll kind of tell you something. And for what it's worth, you don't necessarily want to reset adaptations for Vanos because it's not just the solenoids that are part of Vanos, it's the whole system that adapts. So it's the actual gears uh, on your camshafts, etc. So you don't necessarily want to reset the whole Vanos system just because you're changing your valves. Regardless, they will adapt. So let's go switch out these uh, Vanos valves. I'm going to remove this intake snorkel, T20s, two of them. But as you saw, it said that I'm near the upper limit of adjustment, but it was able to re reach a desired set point, so everything was fine, hence I have no codes. I'm just basically trying this out. I didn't want to spend 350 bucks just to experiment, that's why I got the cheap evals. But let's see if they can even hit the desired target. So right here on the front of the engine, this is not the best shot in the world, but hopefully you guys can make out what I'm doing. Bottom is coming from the driver's side of the motor and the passenger side feeds the top solenoid. Okay, All right, so one of the trashy solenoids are installed now. Let's go for the next one. All right, guys, both trashy valves are on now. Let's go see how the car responds. Loading up this, uh, car's running smooth. All right, let's see how these $10 solenoid valves respond. Will they even work with the car? Seems like the car doesn't have any issues with it. So it's got to get up to operating temperature. But from what I can tell, the car doesn't have any issues with the solenoid valve so far. Nice and smooth. Kind of expected them to not work right out the box. I was very careful with them. They felt fragile, the plastic on there. All right, exhaust side passes. Now, we'll go to intake. So they passed and the car feels normal. Very actually surprising for what they cost. It's a matter of how long they last now. I was very careful in how I installed them. So for all you know, they have life in them. They'll last a long time. Would I leave them in over my OEM ones if nothing else is wrong? Hell no. 
um, but would I want to spend 350 bucks on brand new valves just to see or to change those for preventive maintenance? Not necessarily. So anyway, let's go take it for a drive and see if my misfire's gone. If it is, then I gotta order up a set of OEM valves. Unless you guys really want me to keep these in and tell you how long they last, I don't mind. I can do that. Let me know in the comments. So I don't necessarily like putting such cheap parts on my car, but I'll be honest with you, I've done it for video purposes on a number of occasions. And I always said that I'll report back and let you know when it fails and what you should do. So check the description for this, but I don't even want these to stay in for very long. All right, guys, I'm back from my test drive. It drove perfectly fine. There's no discernible difference between the OEM solenoids and the ones I put in. So, uh, but I was able to create the misfire situation in third gear, top of third, past 6,200 RPM. I actually captured a log and I'm gonna put that in the description if you guys wanna have a look. A commenter did say that you should look at your venal solenoids. I was a little doubtful. I appreciate the feedback, but at the same time, I was doubtful. That's why I only wanted to spend $20 to find out, because if they test out fine in NISTA, and I can take it for a test drive and recreate, then obviously that wasn't the issue. I'm starting to think it's tune related at this point. So at the end of the day, it's not my venous solenoids, but it is interesting to see that they're working so far. I'm gonna just do you guys a favor and run them, and I'll just update the description for when they fail, if they fail, because I know I have a good set of OEM working venal solenoids at home that I can just swap out worst case. You just lose a little bit of torque and get home in limp mode worst case. So anyway, that's gonna conclude this video showing you how to change out your venal solenoids, but also how to test them in ISTA and also to see if these cheapy solenoids are any good. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend them for 10, $20. Like really, I don't see how long they can last. I'm very impressed that they work perfectly fine so far, but I don't know. Maybe you get a month or two out of them, who knows? But they drive fine, they adapt as they should, they adapt like OEM, so that's not an issue in that respect. How long can they last though? They're $10, they're like less than one-tenth the cost of the originals. So I'd be realistic with your expectations with them, but at the end of the day, it's kind of funny that they worked, and I'll put a link in the description if you guys are on a super tight budget, and you want some that at least worked on my car to try out, they'll be in the description. So thanks for watching, if this is the first video you're catching of mine, consider subscribing, I do upload regularly. <laughs>